Christ. Glory to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we have the feast of the Mother of God, the feast of true obedience, the feast of a true desire to fulfill the will of God. Today the feast of the joy of Canada. It's really the only actual Canadian Orthodox feast in the calendar. And we come in several languages today because Canada is made up of so many nationalities and so many people from so many different countries. Today also in the epistle from Apostle Paul, he once again begs us to be of one mind amongst ourselves. He begs us to avoid splits and divisions in the church. He's not talking about the, the, the great schisms, but the little petty things that make us separate ourselves from one another. For one parish will not speak to another parish, where uh, some will not participate in the feast days of other parishes or monasteries. These are little schisms based on pettiness and a kind of callous forgetfulness of what Jesus Christ is about and of what the Orthodox Church actually is. But to be of one mind amongst ourselves, not to see that we split uh, among ourselves and say, well, we're Russians, we can't really go to a Greek service. Or Greeks who refuse to come to church when the service is in Slavonic. Because, of course, only Greece, Greek is a holy language. For people who forget that English is our common language, and we use English most of the time here. But even on these little petty things of language, and petty things of ethnicity, or ethnic background, or where people came from, we have little spits and divisions. We have them within each community. Canadians are not exempt. We have splits and divisions amongst Canadian Orthodox Christians over petty, meaningless things. We have them in the Romanian community, in the Serbian community, in the Russian community, over little political issues, and over self-centeredness and arrogance above all. And today Apostle Paul is beseeching us to be of one mind in the faith. For how could we proclaim the gospel to the world around us and proclaim that the Holy Spirit is with us when the Holy Spirit is a source of unity and harmony and forgiveness and oneness of mind. For the Holy Spirit does not bring to us divisions, confusion and chaos. And therefore to have divisions amongst us is really a blasphemy against the Holy Spirit because it's the exact opposite of what the Spirit, the Comforter, is supposed to bring to us. Today we see how the Mother of God is taught by reading about somebody else. Mary has chosen the better part and it shall not be taken from her. This is Martha and this is Mary who is the prostitute who washed the feet of Christ and who anointed him with Miron. This is the Mary who came in full repentance to our Lord Jesus Christ. And why do we read about her on the feast of the Mother of God? Because she's chosen the better part and it shall not be taken away from her. Because the ever virgin one, when she heard the proclamation of the angel, it was a shocking thing something almost beyond grasp. And yet she said, Lord, let it be unto me according to thy will. Behold the handmaiden of the Lord. So she also chose the better part for herself, which could never be taken from her. And another time someone lifts up their voice, hearing Christ preaching and says, Blessed is the womb that bore you, and blessed are the breast that nursed you. And he said, Menun, truly. And blessed also are those who hear the word of God and keep it. But you see, the Virgin Mary 
heard the word of God and kept it above all other people. And it really was a great sacrifice to her, knowing that she would be misunderstood, knowing that some might even condemn her, knowing the hardships that were lay before her for her participation in the work of the Messiah. And yet she chose full immediate obedience to God without argument, without resistance. Be it unto me according to thy will. So here we can put together these, this epistle and the gospel reading for today. Be of one mind amongst yourselves. I've heard from those of the household of Chloe that there are divisions amongst you. Some of them say I am of Paul, some of I am of Apollos, some I am of Cephas. But did they say I am of Jesus Christ? And we have this even within the church. Some say I am of Father so and so, I am of Elder such and such. I am of this Pope or that priest. And it causes splits and divisions and even cultism in the Orthodox Church. But we're not gathered together to worship or glorify any priest or any hierarch or any elder. We're gathered together to glorify our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ in the grace of the Holy Spirit. And this is that to which we're called, not to find ourselves on that great and holy day cut off and cast into everlasting darkness because I was of this person, I was of that, I was of the other. But to come into the full light of the glory and love of Jesus Christ by saying, I was of Jesus Christ in the grace of the Holy Spirit. And all of you here, some will come occasionally and those who are always here. And think how many different language groups, how many places of origin we have here today. And yet we're all one body in Jesus Christ. We're all united together in the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. And as we participate in Holy Communion, we become brothers and sisters according to flesh and blood. And not simply according to some spiritual word. So we're all in the body and blood of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ as the church is his body and he is the head of the body. And as part of the body of Christ the church, let us be of one mind and of one accord. And let us yield to one another rather than have arguments or dis disputes. But above all, brothers and sisters, let us remember that we're here because of Jesus Christ and Him crucified and resurrected. That we're here because the grace of the Holy Spirit has united us today. Taking up our cross, let us say, Blessed is he who cometh in the name of the Lord. And blessed is everyone who's come in the name of the Lord and not in the name of some person or some thing or some idea. But we've come in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ in the grace of the Holy Spirit. So let there be no divisions amongst us, because when we have divisions amongst us, we blaspheme the Holy Spirit, who's the spirit of unity, who's the spirit of oneness of mind, who's the spirit that unites and binds us together as one body in our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. So celebrating this feast to the Most Holy Mother of God today, remember who we are and what we are the children of the Most High, made His children because our Lord Jesus Christ was not ashamed to call us brethren. And let us behave ourselves toward one another, remembering that our salvation does not depend only on our relationship with Christ, but on our relationship with other human beings. For the only measure with which we can measure our relationship with Jesus Christ is to measure our relationship with other people, with other human beings. To hate one person is to hate God, because every person is the image and likeness of God. To curse and condemn one person is to curse and condemn God in whose image 
that person is created and lives. To hate someone is to hate someone whom our master loves and for whom he gave his own precious blood. Let no one excuse their hate. Let no one excuse their condescension. Let no one excuse their gossip or their slander. Let no one excuse turning away from another person. Because when you turn away, when you despitefully use someone, when you hate someone, when you condescend to someone, remember that the reverence we show to the icon passes over to the prototype of the icon, and every human being is the icon and likeness of the living God. And how we treat that person is how we, in our heart, relate to God. Let's not be careless about our salvation. Let us not think that just obeying rules and laws and regulations will open the gates of paradise for us. Let us not even say, I believe in Jesus Christ will open the gates of paradise for the foolish virgins also believed. And those who would not feed him, those who would not clothe him, those who would not give him to drink. Of course they believed. But then they heard, depart from me, I never knew you. Let's, brothers and sisters, try to live a truly Christian life. It's not fitting and not meet that we should come into the church and hear a priest or a bishop preaching hatred or malice or condemnation of any other group of human beings or any human being. Nor giving us a dark, fearful vision of the world around us. It's meet that we preach the gospel and that we preach unity and harmony amongst the people and that we preach the Holy Spirit, the life creating, the giver of comfort, who illumines our hearts and calls us to the unity of the faith in our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, and calls us to a unity of our humanity in the name of Jesus Christ. This, brothers and sisters, is the, is the essence of the Orthodox faith, that we love one another as we love ourselves, that we have empathy one for another, without condemnation, without putting brackets, without putting a hyphen, that we simply have love one for another, even for those who hate us and even for those with whom we disagree. This is the Orthodox faith. This is the grace of the Holy Spirit. This is the gospel of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.